Nigerians in diaspora are pressing hard for a voting right to be able to participate actively in Nigeria's electoral process. At a workshop in Abuja organized by the Nigeria Diaspora Voting Council, Nigerians abroad called on the government to put policies in place that will grant them the right of political participation, irrespective of the country of residence. TV 360's Tunji Oye reports. In 2016, remittance to Nigeria from diaspora was over $22 billion. In 2018, this remittance rose to about $25 billion. With this huge amount remitted back home, Nigerians abroad believe the time is ripe to also actively be part of the process of choosing leaders during election and not just sending money home. At this conference are representatives of Nigerians from different countries. They are here to make a case for diaspora voting. Every human being that is being denied of his right, we try to express it one way or the other. But because NIDO is the umbrella body of Nigerians in diaspora organizations, and we are created and gazetted by the government, we always carry the message, the goodwill message of the government to our diasporans. We are the people receiving the stones. If you get to Abidjan, on your reception, you are the victim because they say you are not telling the government the truth. If you go to Togo, the same thing. If you come to Congo, Brazzaville, the same thing. Nigerians are boiling because of their right of voting that is being denied. It is well known that Nigerians in diaspora are making significant contributions to their host nation. Nigerians in diaspora perform to the best of their God-given talent. Our country, Nigeria, needs a rethink on how to accommodate our own and how to develop a centrifugal force a program that can begin to attract us back home from, every, from everywhere we are in the world. We need to contribute to the development of our fatherland beyond merely repatriating monies. INEC has the capacity. Yes, we may have one or two, uh, we may have one or two challenges with our elections here, but I know that being Nigerians with the capacity we have, INEC has the wherewithal to ensure that we conduct diaspora voting peacefully and uh, without all the... In fact, you might be shocked that uh, it might turn out that diaspora voting may lead even the way in how we do things here. Other stakeholders in this project also express critical things that is required to make diaspora voting possible, part of which is reliable database, funding, legislation and manpower. The administration of President Muhammad Buhari endorses without any reservation, diaspora voting, and starts steady to play its part in its actualization. Indeed, recently, while in Ethiopia, the president expressed his support for diaspora voting. There, the president said, while speaking at Ababa with the executive committee members of the Nigerian community in Ethiopia, that there is need for all stakeholders who are desirous to participate in elections to approach and work with the National Assembly to amend the Constitution in order to accommodate those in the diaspora to vote during our elections. Diaspora voting is not a new concept. In the United States of America, sometimes they call it absentee ballots. In France, in India, in South Africa, amongst others, there are enabling laws and systems that allow a citizen to exercise their fundamental right to participate in choosing the government of their homeland. Achieving a similar outcome here at home will be one more step towards realizing the full promise of universal suffrage as it already exists in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Are there challenges? Yes. Is it going to be easy? No. Are there reasons of concern? Yes. Are there things to be worried about? Yes. But that is why we're leaving it with the National Assembly. With everything my brother has said, look, First thing is, let's be practical. Have a draft bill that will be sent to Parliament, which Mr. Omoli has, has already worked on. And all those issues will be debated during the public hearing. So Nigerians will decide whether they want it or not. Over 20 million Nigerians are captured officially to be in diaspora. This figure is substantial enough to alter the outcome of any election in the country. So this is one project that needs to be well-planned, well-structured, strong legal framework and unity of purpose to achieve this idea.
23 African countries are already operating diaspora voting. Will Nigeria be the 24th African country to grant diaspora voting rights to our citizens? From Abuja, Tunjoye, TV360 News.